I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Today we're at Guitar Summit in Mannheim in Germany. This is quite an exciting event, so I've just had a quick look around. What I'm going to do over the next couple of days is just to give you my highlights from my three days at Guitar Summit. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm over at the Jam Booth, which is one of my favourite pedal manufacturers, and Illis is here, and he's going to talk us through. There he is. He's going to talk us through what is new with Jam pedals. Okay, so what we have uh, is the, our collaboration with Greg Koch. We've been uh, um, working on this for quite some time. We've had a very lovely relationship with him for more than 15 years and it's finally now manifested um, in the form of two multi-pedals. This is the Cockness Monster, <laughs> pun intended, and we'll go to the Cockness Monster Supreme in a bit. This was designed with um, ease of transportation in mind. It's the bare essentials that we'll get most of us through any you know, gig or recording situation. It has the Lucy Dreamer Overdrive, yep. the Eureka Fuzz, the Harmonious Monk Tremolo and uh, the Delay Lama uh, with an added twist that you can sync the tap to uh, control both the Delay Lama and the Harmonious Monk. Um, there's a send return uh, loop you can place different pedals in between your gain pedals and the modulation pedals. Works off of a single standard 9 volt power supply. Throw it in your gig bag, you're good to go. As always, handmade, hand painted in Athens, Greece. Um, so let's move on to the massive behemoth that is the Cockness Monster Supreme. Now this is way more indulgent. Um, it's got basically everything Greg loves uh, to use. Um, so starting here with uh, the Wacko, this is a single unit as well. So uh, it's not separate units, it's a single unit. So you have the Wacko, that's the retro vibe here. This is Greg's signature overdrive, the Gristle King, but built by us. Okay. Again, Eureka, Lucid Dreamer, the Boomster. Yep. You have the uh, Waterfall Chorus here, the Harmonious Monk, the Tremolo. Um, a, delay a Delay Lama Mark II, interestingly enough, this doesn't feature a top 10 because he just wanted it here for a slapback. So this is his always on slapback thing. Okay. And then it's the but Delay... You can, more, you can do more than just slapback. Of, full, of yeah, course, yeah. it's a full range. Yeah. And then you have the Delay Lama Extreme here, which comes preloaded with Greg's presets. Yeah. And you can also sync this tap tempo here to the Harmonious Monk. And that creates a very lovely interplay of like uh, rhythmic textures and stuff. And you can get choppy and gnarly with it. Um, very indulgent. Again, single power supply, in, out, amp, you're set. We're stoked. We're very, very happy to see how people receive them. Greg's been actually gigging with uh, both for quite a while now and everything is top. Uh, is a very good experience for him, so yeah. So what about price points? Um, so this one's at 2190 and yep. that one is at 790. Um, this is due to uh, come out in late October. Yeah. And this one will follow soon after, but not in October, sometime within 2024. I'm joined by the ultimate rock star himself, Mr. What's your name? I forgot what it is. George Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> We're joined by George Lynch. George Lynch has his new pedal out. Phil X has got his new pedal out. What is it? Come and have a look. Okay, this is a, a PXO. Um, it's an overdrive boost. Uh, and it's just, um, I don't, it's, it's hard to talk about something and being so close to it, which means I got to hang out with this circuit for a good six to eight months and just play this circuit. Because mm -hmm. we're finicky, right, guitar players? Oh, yeah. There's the pedal of the week every week, and that means, you know, 52 pedals at the end of the year that I love this one, I love that one. This, for me, being just honing in on everything this thing does is really amazing. So the first question that everybody asks. Go on, save, say, save you doing it. What's, what's, what's the circuit is based on? And I'm like, well, the, the, the overdrive circuit is based on holy shit. And the, the boost circuit is based on what the fuck. Now, I couldn't come to this show and pass the Shabbat booth without speaking to Abby. So Abby, how are you doing? I'm doing great. So Abby's got some, some new signature models that are to die for. Let's have a quick look. So this is our, our new uh, 
Dweezil Zappa signature model. It comes in two colors, Olympic white and black. Both with maple, yeah? It has, has... Both, yes. Hard maple, quarter sun necks, uh, 6105 frets, um, Lawler Special S's with El Rayo pickup, and we got the Vega trim nice. in gold. We have a phase push, uh, push pull on the middle pickup that creates kind of like an octave effect on two and four. Oh, wow. But other than that, just volume. And yeah, Alder on both. I love all the open, the open wiring stuff. It looks awesome. It's a proper sort of um, Eddie Van Halen yes. style. And you've also got this one here. This is the Justin Derrico signature model. Indeed. That's the Justin Derrico. It's a 24 and three quarters scale, full mahogany binding blocks and snake head, two Lawler uh, Imperials, uh, Graftec wraparound, and mahogany body, mahogany neck. And yeah, that's a, it's a shredding machine. So first of all, I had to go over to TWS booth. This is Mario from TWS. Hi guys. Mario has got some new things that I was privy to, but via a, uh, via a message the other day. So can we see them? Yeah. Yeah. Now, one of my favorite amps is, uh, is that one. Oh, that's a very puristic one channel amp. Yeah. And it's not based on a Fender, a Marshall or a Vox. Mm -hmm. It's based on a old Philips Hi-Fi amp from, I think it was 1948. And I found that on YouTube uh, and YouTube on, you're on YouTube. <laughs> I found that on eBay. Yeah. I cannot find you on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for that. Thank God for that. And I bought it and restored it and modified it for, for guitar. And it sounded awesome. And, and that is where the journey started because I was, can I recreate that sound of that old amp? And over several prototypes, it ended up to be this one. Um, 14 watts, one channel, two uh, 6v6s. It has kind of a voxish vibe, yeah. but obviously the, the original amp was developed before Fox even existed. <laughs> but there's some new things that you're doing, which are these bad boys down here. Yeah, um, so we now get into the candy business selling. <laughs> 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 no, um, we now start offering um, solid wood housings. So this housing is of solid mahogany. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's really old mahogany from the 60s. Wow. And this is solid ash wood. We also have like um, pine or birch or different woods. And um, it's really amazing um, the difference in sound you get from the different wood, solid woods. So we, we try that out with the same amp, the same guitar, different housings compared to the standard housing. And you really can hear the wood. Are you doing this as a head and cab option or are you doing this just as a combo option? Uh, we can actually do it, probably you don't want it on your 4x12, that will be really expensive. And heavy. But we can do that actually for every combo housing or every cab housing. So that's awesome. I'd love so that's kind yeah. of a custom feature you can order from us. Yeah. And we can show you what woods we have, you can select your wood. And it's really amazing how the difference in sound is. It's um, actually what you can hear in different tone woods in guitars, like, you know, a Les Paul Mahogany, very mid-focus, screamy mid-range, and like a Telecaster made of ash wood, really spanky with bottom end. And you can hear the same nuances in the housings. So that pair, paired perfectly with a Les Paul. Yep. And that paired, for example, perfectly with a Telecaster. Oh. So this is the new DNFX from Harley Benton. It is. Unbelievable. It's 189 euros. It sounds absolutely awesome. <laughs> Now, this is also a new one from Harley Benton as well. This is a prototype at the moment, but this is what they're thinking of bringing out. So they're going to be doing some Relic uh, style guitars as well. But 
this turn into two different voices. Right. And if I'm playing with the drills, I use three overdrive pedals. If I'm playing with, no, sorry, two overdrive pedals. When I'm with Bon Jovi, I use three different pedals. Right. You need different flavors, right? Yep. But now this thing has created a situation as an example. This is uh, the solo to Living on a Prayer, and this is a solo <laughs> to uh, Lost Highway. Awesome. You know, so you got a little and a lot. And then I'm talking about the boost, the, the post pre button, because I always thought it was a myth. Yep. You know? And now I know it's not because I've been messing with this. And in my Friedman half stack, I got it in post. Right. But to play into an old, like a, a combo that's cleaner, mm -hmm. I'll put it in pre to have the boost enhance the sound of the combo and then use the overdrive for the leads. So having those parameters mm -hmm. to be able to dip around and check out has been really amazing. So that's what it is. So, so it's a it's a boost and an overdrive pedal yes. in two on, on two separate things. Yes. I mean, <clears throat> so you're using this with your because I've got one of your amps. It's fucking kick ass, right? Oh mate. Yeah, it's, 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 I just awesome. plugged into an upstairs for sound check with Jared tonight. Yeah. Killer. It's, I love it's, my it's pretty awesome. It's but I was in the shop. Uh huh. <laughs> I was in the shop mm -hmm. when he put. Hey man, what happens when I put this alligator clip over here? And I went bam. And I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing. I was there. Oh, awesome. So how could I not love the amp? Yeah, it's lovely. Right? Yeah, it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. So, and been going back and forth with this. Yeah. So how could I not love this? So I've heard recently that your, um, it was, so when you were going out live, you, you started off with speakers under the stage or your speakers next to anyone well, under Joby, the stage and now, it's, and now it's sort of reducing, reducing. So, yeah. so how are you running it now? Which, which, uh, well, when I play with the drills, I, I have the, the well, full wedges. Yeah. It's the first. The, I want to feel my pant leg move when yeah. I take a when I hit a note, and that doesn't happen when your cabinets are under the stage and you're using in ears. Yeah. Now, but, and this is funny. <clears throat> in 2018, we were on tour, and a note that was always disappearing at the end of the solo of Lost Highway, always disappearing, and then one night I was standing somewhere, and I hit that note. And it, it went through the stage and through the lid of the bo ISO box and hit that magnet where I, that note just sung. And I probably let it hang for too long <laughs> because I'm a, an asshole that way. But I, was, I, I stood here and my tech was coming up to give me a guitar. I go, can you put a piece of tape here? I hit that note, it was amazing. So I knew, you know, and he goes, but it's the last show. <laughs> 